Uh, I guess I have want me to redo it. You can do it. Yeah. Go All ahead. right. I'm going to call the plan commission of April 3rd, 2023. The order. Roll call, please. Commissioner Enthusias. Here. Commissioner Brocious. Here. Trustee Kettleboater. Here. And Village President Langfeld. Here. The stamp for Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're at public comment. This is an opportunity for anyone to address the plan commission on any issue. Please observe the time limit of three minutes. While the plan commission encourages input from residents that may not discuss or act on any issue that is not duly noticed on the agenda. So does Bobby want to speak now or are you just going to read the email? Nope, she's on here since she wants to speak. Uh, Go ahead, Bobby. Go ahead, Bobby. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Bobby Zahner. I live at 2113 Maple Street. I would like to speak in support of private wells in the village of Cross Plains, specifically as it relates to future developments in higher elevations in which a village water system is not financially feasible. As it has been pointed out to the community and to the village board of trustees, the village is nearing the levy limit in which we can levy our taxpayers to support village operations. Currently, state statute only allows increases in the levy limit based on growth in the village. If we do not consider private wells at high elevations, we are severely limiting our future growth opportunities. As a result, the village may be forced to go to referendum to support current village operations when we have reached levy limits. Furthermore, in September 2017, the village's future land use map and the comprehensive plan was amended via ordinance number 04-2017 to show the land area north and west of Laufenberg Boulevard as single family urban, which allows for private wells and public sewer. I recall attending a meeting during this time frame in which an expert was brought in who stated that Dane County private wells all pull from the same aquifer. So if there was a contamination issue, it would be a very widespread issue. I would think that if this extremely rare instance were to happen, county, state, and or federal funds would be available. The village does have the authority to limit the use of private wells to homes within or above a certain elevation. So it is not like we need to allow them throughout the entire village. Thank you for your time. All right, thank you. All right, we'll go, anybody else? Uh, there wasn't any other comments. Is there anybody here that would like to speak? I think you're all here for the one item. All righty. All right. General business. Number one, approval of the minutes from the February 6, 2023 plan commission meeting. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the February minutes. Right. I'll second. All right. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say. All right. Number two, discussion park bank. Concept plan, site implementation plan. Sorry, someone like to come up and speak? Sure. All right. Can you turn on that mic for us? Hit the button. Yeah, just hit the button, and if it's green, it's on. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Uh, I'm Brian Reed with Potter Lawson uh, Architects uh, with um, for uh, working on this project. So. Just give you a kind of a brief overview of the project. Um, you can see it's the existing uh, adjacent property here, just south of the village hall. Um, the intent is to um, make some interior and exterior improvements to the site um, to house a um, new branch bank or park bank on the location. Um, some of the improvements would include um, reworking, doing some additional um, new grading and pavement uh, to the existing lot, uh, providing new landscape uh, throughout the, the site, um, 
um, as well as adding a new uh, vestibule and um, some new additional materials to the exterior um, to be more fitting with the park bank um, image. The branch bank would house uh, offices to support staff from roughly three to six um, staff members and um, including some offices and conferencing space, small break room. Uh, one additional area that would be added to the site would be um, a new ITM lane. It would be a one-way outbound lane as um, users to the site would, could come in through the existing drive entry and then exit through the new proposed ITM lane to the site. One additional, I guess, um, addition to the site would also be proposed is a small stormwater retention area then given the amount of proposed site disturbance uh, to the site. And that driveway fits in the space that, that's out there? It does. It confirms that. It does. Yes. There would be some new grading along the south side of the sites to kind of bring the elevation up so that the slopes work, but um, it would fit with on the surface of the site. And I know there was, uh, this didn't quite meet the parking requirement, so you were looking to do a uh, waiver or conditional use to deal with it? Correct. The current square footage of the building is a little over 8,000 total square feet, 1,500 square feet roughly per floor, I believe. And so we would be short from the parking stalls of the one for 300 stall requirement. I, we are providing seven stalls and then we'll be short by uh, four. Four, four yeah. All right. Yes. Um, I like the design. I think it would flow pretty well. Anybody else have any questions for them? Just one, Bill. Yeah, so so you're gonna redo the grading to the back over here, right? Yes. Okay. Is that going to affect the uh, the condos and apartments that are back over there, which for, for the shopping center with, with the grading that you're planning on doing? It's gonna be more water water flowing into that area than than normally because it's not gonna affect it or not. It it shouldn't affect it at all. Okay. And there, I mean, with the stormwater area, there'll be a, a small depression that will be created for the stormwater sure. retention. But other than that, no, perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. The road um, does allow parking on the road, right? Correct. Yep. And uh, that road's really wide and lacks center lines. That just will, will remain. I just feel like uh, that road could use improvements, just uh, people turning left into there. and. People come around this corner and people oh, you put a place. center line in there. Yeah, we can talk about that. I think that's something the village should discuss um, yeah. to help with traffic flow. Um, you know, assuming there's increased traffic, right? Um, I guess that's the only question I have or thought I had about it. Where are we at in this process as far as? Well, I believe they're on the schedule for the staff meeting Wednesday. And there would be no, right? not oh. this. They're not on this. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, well, then they're at the next stage where they would be going through the the steps of getting their actual approval. And I, I don't know if they need a waiver condition of use for this. I don't. I don't remember how we handle parking anymore. Um, all the, yeah. There, are there any other um, design issues that staff has seen so far? Has staff not seen it yet? Uh, staff has seen it. Um, the recommendation was to have them come tonight to just kind of give a preliminary concept plan. Um, some of the points that were made um, as far as from here, uh, next steps from uh, our village planner was uh, future plans would need a detailed landscaping plan with points of calculations, um, detailed photometric plans, um, and then the architectural elevations of the four sides of the buildings. Um, and then uh, again, the, the parking was the other the question about whether they were going to seek a waiver. Parking is constant in this village. Yeah, I, like I say, I, I, we 
I, I, I for businesses to get rid of it. That's part of a business plan. There. Housing is different. I think we have an obligation to make sure there's enough parking for people to live somewhere. But, but anyway, well, that's what it is right now. And we're obviously we're going to need a more detailed plan on how high the sign is, how much light, and like what you read through. There's a yeah. lot of zoning things there. Okay. But as this is just for conceptual, I mean, we don't have what it, the size looks like eventually we go at all, obviously. Correct, right. yes. Right now we're kind of early in the preliminary stages. We haven't um, fully designed the landscape plan or the lighting plan we're working with. Um, staff to provide that sort of level of detail um, in the future. But... Everybody else good? Looks good. Good. Well, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And then we'll be in touch. And when you get your final plans and you're ready to bring things back and bring them forward, we'll get you on the schedule again. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Number three discuss village parking pad driveway expansion ordinance. You want to take this one? Sure. Um, so this was a this was a, a concern uh, question that came up recently uh, with regards to um, an inquiry received in the village um, when I spoke with our uh, planner Sonia about this. So apparently, most municipalities do not allow um, parking pad expansions to occur directly in front of a home. Um, they will allow um, some minor um, additions to be to occur on the off side of the uh, property but not directly in front of the home between the right of way of the street um, now our ordinances are close to stating that that's not permissible but there is this minimum driveway expansion parking pad setback exhibit which more or less shows that very thing occurring <laughs> So the question was raised, how can we say we can't allow for this directly in front of the house when the diagram essentially shows that's exactly where it's being placed? So this is more or less a question of, is this something that we think is worth pursuing as far as some kind of a zoning um, uh, a zoning amendment um, or are people comfortable with, it it's doesn't happen often, but it does, as it currently stands, looks like we would have to approve it if anyone did pursue something directly in front of their home. It's more or less just a discussion. I, I think we should. I don't think we should allow pads like that. I, I agree. I don't think we should allow a pad as shown on the left side of the right. Right. I would have put the pad on the right though. That's not clear to me. Is that currently allowed or not? Yeah, allowed? that's an there, apron. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of places. Yeah, that's what I don't have. That's what I've seen. Yeah. I've seen more yeah. of that. I can't remember seeing anything. And that's kind of off to the yeah. side of the drive of the yeah. garage. You know, the one right. that's right in that's their front yard. It's, yeah, between the the sidewalk if there is one, or the front entrance to the house is what it sounds like to me. Correct. And then um, on the right side would be in front of their garage or. Mm -hmm. Something I yeah. yeah. I guess if it did the same thing on the left, it could go up, you know, you know half that way. Yeah, I don't. I see the parking pad. I see why they, why we we wouldn't want it. Why other communities don't want it. And I would agree that we look at getting rid of that allowance. It could very well have been that the intent of the diagram was just to show the two options that can occur in front of a home. It wasn't to recommend that it can happen directly in front of a house. But be that as it may, the picture shows that, so it's going to be hard to say to someone you can't do that. Okay, Bill. So remember a couple of years ago we talked about um, parking during snow and having removal vehicles, and you know people that have smaller homes don't have you know driveway to be able to pick up three cars and can't park. You know they got to park in the street or they got to find another place to park or park in their yard. Was mm -hmm. an answer that we gave them. Yeah. That I mean, I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, I what you're saying. And and I mean, I can see for someone who has three vehicles in their home, you know, they're just still still in a smaller home, they would want that. I don't. I'm not advocating that we do that, but I can see why they would want something like that because we don't allow, you know, 
for them to park on a on the street during heavy snowfall over two inches, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just, I mean, I like the one on the right. I'm not a fan of the one on the left, but I can see why someone would argue for that. Well, I can see the use of that, but the question is, you know, to me, on those snow emergencies and stuff, we don't enforce if you park on the your yard, even though I, I wouldn't do that anyways. But um, I think when you do the snow thing, you're right. What is that? Eleven times a, a year, maybe. Um, here, if we to me, if we allow it, we are just going to have a lot of houses with look like used car businesses yeah. or boat trailers. Yeah, boats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, I personally would not. I think that would lower the value of your home. You don't have much uh, street appeal when you have a big slab of concrete as your front yard. But again, I I think we got to look at what do we want to do as a village. And I'm kind of with the majority is that I would not allow it. And you know, I would even allow if people wanted to do aprons if we would do a waiver or conditional use where you don't need the the 14 or the 10 or the uh, seven feet difference, you know, make it four or something like that. You know, I could see adjusting it where they give more incentive to put it on the side, but I would clearly eliminate that one in front. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really like the diagram that's on here because I agree with you, Jay, that I'd rather see it the home and then the pad on the side of the home, coming up to the side of the home, not coming into the home, you know what I mean? Right, I've never, I I am not in the village. There's quite a few homes that have aprons and I have one too, and they all marry up basically with the side of the garage, right. where the sidewalk comes down and it's to the right. You have your two, yeah, maybe that, I don't know the scale to that, but you're right. I think the line to the, the driveway to the right in most homes is way over. I agree. Like, I mean, no one really has that much room in their garage where they don't have, I mean, that's almost the length of a half the garage is where there's not a garage door. And I think that if they would have built a three car garage, they would have yeah. had a path for a three car garage, right? Right. right. Yeah, I, I think we required that. Right. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. yeah. And then three car garage and being a car full of car lengths past the right of way. So there is essentially you can park three cars in your garage and three cars in your driveway. Yeah, that is what our at least our new construction. Mm -hmm. Now this would I look at this more from a retrofit, right? Somebody's trying to fit another car in. They've got Mark camper for all the yeah, camper yeah. Mode. and I think we just have to say that could go any number of ways that would not be attractive. Or I don't mean, yeah, it wouldn't be attractive. So I would. I would look to eliminating it. I assume, we, I don't see the language up here, Brian, but I assume from what you said, or both of you said that, the language makes it sound like that is not enough. Right. It's just the diagram itself is the confusion. Okay. Correct. And and also most of the municipalities when speaking with Sonia on this do not plow for expansions and parking pads directly in front of a home. And it, it's kind of like when we did the sign one, but we had the language of one thing, but the diagram right. was different. Right. Yeah. So, so everybody kind of will just come back with this and fix the diagram, fix the diagram, and, <laughs> and make sure the language is clear. <laughs> is the public hearing? Yeah, we'll do a public okay. hearing. It's a zoning. That's good. Okay. All right. Very good. And then uh, we're at number four, discussion, village water system, development philosophy. This is just on there, so Brian can give you an update on where we're at. Yeah. There's no one. So, yeah, and exactly. The, the point of having this edition tonight was just to bring everyone up to speed, let them know that since the last plan commission meeting in February, I haven't received anything additional for inclusion in the discussion related to the water system philosophy. Um, so at this time, I think the next best steps would be moving forward and starting to put together a proposal um, of, of those findings for the village board. So it's my intention to get started on putting that together over the next few months. How was the welcome along thing you talk about water? Um, well, actually, um, they're waiting for well number three. Right. Um, the generator is like 18 months out. 
Oh my. Well, but what we're looking to do is, and what they don't think we'll get until the fall are the control panel. Yeah. Once we get that, we'll put the well online, but we won't take well two offline until the generator's there. I didn't think we were taking the well two offline. We have to uh, update it. Oh, uh, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. the bathrooms should be just about done. They were talking about getting done that in the next couple of weeks. So then we're just going to hold off until well one is operational and has the uh, backup generator on it. Then we'll go into well two and put the electric room and the new control panel and the, and the chemical room. So the, the well house should be pretty much done. I haven't been there. Uh, they expect the pumps to be coming this summer and then the control panels in the fall and Great. then the generator. And I think they'll probably be cleaning things up at um, well two because they were saying everything should be good to go by the baseball season. So yeah, then I walked by today. It looks like it's getting very close to completion. They were just regrading the lot. So very yeah. nice. Yeah. So, I would say things are going pretty good. Of course, supply line, you know, I'd like to have well three done by the summer, but right. nothing we can do. We just gotta wait for the parts. Yeah. Uh, Brian, you're um, the update or whatever you're gonna do proposal that you plan to bring to the commission. I assume the commission first and the board? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We could do a draft report from us. Okay. So you'll definitely- And that will look like what? I mean, what's the, I mean, do we have any idea of like, is there I, going to be a recommendation? Is there going to be this is A, this is B, this is C, or don't we know yet? Well, I, 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 I would say what we're going to do is summarize all the information we have. Right. And I guess this group can decide, do we want to do a recommendation or just present them with the information? And I guess that, that part has not. We haven't can't come up with any recommendations yet. Right. I think what we need to do is have the report, get that done. All of us take a look at it, and we can discuss how we want to go from there. Few months out, two or three months out, just because it's going to be a lot of work on you. I, I would say two to three is a safe assumption. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on this? All righty. Do I have a motion for adjournment then? I'll motion to adjourn. I'll second. All right. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say why then you can't say no. <laughs> Party adjourned. You can't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do have a question though that now that we're out of this, you know, uh, uh, Bobby had mentioned the levy limit. Yeah. And I 